Hey guys, today's move is madness. I can't explain how cool this move is. Choking a guy from inside his own guard. Like the one place you think you're safe. You got that fork to retreat to, your guard, you can attack from there, you can slow opponents down. No one thinks about getting a legitimate attack inside your guard. It's the one place you think you're safe, man. It's in your home. He's gonna attack you in your home. Yeah, today you're gonna learn how. So John's on his back. Important part now, if you watch one of the other videos where he's on a side mount, setting up the choke from side mount, it's really important. I'm not playing with the gi too much. If the gi is tucked in, I'm not going to uh, force all my energy into trying to untuck it. But what I would do is just pull it out a little bit, pull it out a little bit. So if, if that happens, great, but don't get too committed to this if he's working on breaking your posture and working on your collar. You've got to deal with your posture, you have to deal with his grips first. This is when the guy's kind of relaxed or his gi is loose. So, first thing we're going to do is if John's hands are a little bit lower, I'm going to go over his arm. Now, this is the really neat one because I'm going to start working this for a guard pass first and you'll see how it sets up the choke. So, I'm going to go over his elbow, I'm going to drive my shoulder to his chest, and I lift up and pass the gi underneath his back to hook his arm. So now his arm's caught. My hand is over here, holding on to the gi on this side, and it's pinning his elbow to his ribs, and you can see his shoulder's kind of bending. So now this is being fairly light. I can pull a little bit more. Next part is I'm going to posture up, and I start pushing down on his knee. And then I start working my pass. Now from here, oh, I'm going to go into a head choke, or head and arm choke apparently, and finish my pass. Now, really, it, the sky's the limit. When you're passing the guy's guard like this, it's really, really, really frustrating. So again, this is when his arm is down, go over, pass it up. And finish the pass. Now, guys tend to not like that too much. So if his hand is down and I start to go over, he starts to bring his arm up. That's when I pass it up. Now, you can just throw the gi up, that's fine, to this position and finish the choke. But sometimes you can kind of let the guy do some of the work for you. So if you try to go around his arm, he'll lift it up. And most likely they break your posture, which is great. My right left arm is going behind, I grab the tail. Right arm goes in, lapel on one side, fist on the other, and I sit back with my head down. And this is going to finish the choke. Now, if you want a neat little way to kind of just punch your way into this, you're going to grab his collar and loop it underneath so that when you push it up to your hand, your hand is already inside for the choke. It's a nasty little surprise. It kind of saves a little bit of time. Okay, so you want to go underneath, right? so it's wrapped this way. Pass it to your hand. Hand's already inside for the choke. Now, I know what you're saying or thinking, what about the armbar? So if John goes to the armbar, Okay. He's going to go for the armbar. Armbar, John. Okay. And this is, I can't say how important this is. Don't let go of the gi. If you let go of the gi, you're going to get your arm broken. I'm sorry. So you've got to hang on. You've got to hang on. You have to believe. You have to believe you can get this choke. Now, ideally, he's been in the choke for you know, two to five seconds before he attempts an armbar if he's going for it right away. So it's a fair amount of time in the choke as it is. Now, if he goes for that arm bar, I want to keep my arms straight. I know he wants my arms straight too, but I'm going to straighten my arms out and push my fist into his throat a little bit more to cut off the blood. And it stops the arm bar because I'm pulling his head up. Okay, so I'm cranking his head up a little bit. As I'm doing the choke, it's hard for him to finish the choke from here. Now, what I am going to do is show you how to defend the choke. So I'm going to do one more time here so you can see, John. Loop in. The choke. Now, here's the defense. I'm going to get John on the bottom, or sorry, John on top. And you want to make sure you pay attention to see a steady one move ahead. John's got my gi, he goes around my throat, and right here, this is where I trap him. So if he, even if he has his hands in position, I want to lift my elbows up. So my elbows are lifted up, my hands are behind his head, behind his neck, elbows up. I'm going to wiggle away, and I'm going to roll John over. Now, when I get over, I'm going to climb up, climb up, and then I start working my reverse arm bar. 
Now, he's going to let go of the gi because he's still choking me by tapping. So I'm going to keep on to the armbar. It, the choke is kind of sort of there, but it's really like a 50% choke. It's not really on that much. So one more time. Now, one thing that's super important, if you notice which arm I'm armbarring and how I'm armbarring it, this is actually a reverse armbar. Okay? So I pinch my shoulder to my ear, my hands are behind his tricep, and I'm pulling in. So if I try to go for the other arm, I'm not going to make it. So John goes for the choke, I pin it, okay, he's climbing up, I need to go for this arm. Now if he sits back and goes out, uh oh, no, that's, it's too late, I've got to try and get underneath him again. So we'll walk him out because his arms are trapped, it's easier. Get him out, slide up, knees together, leg is out. Arm bar, arm bar, arm bar, arm bar. Lots of arm bars for you there. But you have to stay in a good position. So have fun with this one. Explore with this, this, this one. Expect to get choked a little bit. When you're trying to choke them, expect to get arm bar while you're trying to arm bar them. But like anything, a little bit of practice goes a long ways. And it's going to be super frustrating when you're the guy in the club choking guys out from inside their guard. Right? It's madness. So enjoy this one. Have lots of fun. If you have any questions, let me know.